Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Lecture 9, King Saul, the Tragic Israelite King. In this lecture, we delve into the role of the first three kings of Israel and the transition from a loose confederation of tribes to a more unified nation. The focus is on Saul, the first king. The lecture is divided into three acts, each representing a significant phase in Saul's story. Act 1, End of an Era. Act 1 narrates the conclusion of the old era with the emphasis on the judge named Samuel. God's influence is prominent as events align with his purpose to address corruption within the clergy. A woman named Hannah, who desperately desires a child, receives God's favor and gives birth to Samuel. Hannah's prayer celebrates a future of social change, where the powerful will be brought down and the poor will be honored. A battle against the Philistines leads to the defeat of Israel's army and the end of the corrupt priesthood. Acto, Saul's rise to power. Acto begins with Samuel serving as a just judge, but the continuation of corrupt patterns becomes evident when Samuel's sons succumb to corruption. The people demand the king to emulate other nations. Despite Samuel's warning of the negative consequences, God reluctantly grants the request, and Saul, a promising young man, is anointed as the new king. Saul's first challenge involves defending a town from a neighboring warlord, which he successfully accomplishes, establishing his reputation as a leader. However, the narrative hints at Saul's future downfall, attributing it partly to his own character flaws and his growing alienation from Samuel and God. Saul's disobedience becomes evident when he disobeys God's command to destroy a desert tribe completely, keeping the enemy's wealth and offering a sacrifice without authorization. This leads to God's rejection of Saul as king. Act 3, Saul's Downfall In Act 3, Saul's divinist status is highlighted by the anointing of David as the chosen future king. Saul, unaware of David's anointing, brings him into his service, but David's popularity intensifies Saul's jealousy and rage. David's victory over the giant Philistine Goliath accelerates Saul's downfall, leading to his relentless pursuit of David who becomes an outlaw leader. Saul's pursuit ultimately fails due to the looming threat of the Philistine armies. As Saul faces an impending battle against the Philistines, he seeks help from the spirit world and consoles a woman claiming to communicate with the dead. Believing he encounters the spirit of Samuel, Saul pleads for guidance, but the spirit reveals that Saul's own choices and torn away from God have sealed his fate. The Spirit predicts Saul's death in battle, and the prophecy is fulfilled when Saul is mortally wounded. Refusing to be captured, Saul takes his own life, thus ends the tragic story of Saul, the fallen king. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. As the sun set in the era of judges, a new dawn broke with the rise of kings. But with great powers come great tragedy. And thus was the fate of Saul, Israel's first anointed king. Thank you for joining us in episode 9, where we journey through Paul's tumultuous reign from his humble beginnings to his harrowing end.
The story reminds us of the leadership is fraught with challenges and that the head of a nation often mirrors the heart of his king. But our story doesn't end with the fall of Saul. Next time in episode 10, we turn the page to his successor. A shepherd boy turned monarch would carve a nation from division and lead Israel to his golden age. We'll explore the life and times of David, a complex leader, a revered warrior, and the founder of a dynasty that still echoes through history. Will David seize the moment to shape a nation, or will his personal failings fracture his kingdom? Join us as we uncover the triumphs and trials of his rule, the political savvy with the Ark of the Covenant, and the familiar drama that almost undid his legacy. We'll unpack it all in David in the Formation of a Nation. Don't miss out. Subscribe and turn on the notification to catch this upcoming episode. Until then, ponder this. How do the leaders of the past shape the nation to the present? Share your thought in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in and see you in the next episode. Goodbye for now and keep seeking wisdom in the pages of history.